Hello, Jazzy Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander with proper instruments with me, Blue Ankylo. I, uh, I'm just chilling in the rec room, enjoying the, uh, the smooth saxophone. Um, anyway, how you guys doing? We're back. We're still playing Wing Commander. We're on uh, bonus episode time. We're on Dakota System Mission 3 today. Still flying our Raptor, which is so much fun. I'm definitely enjoying these last few missions more than... So many of those old Hornet Scimitar missions we had to fight through. Hey, Blue. How's about a dr cool drink in a tall tale? Word is we're pulling out soon, hopefully for Kurosawa. <laughs> There's some Kilrathi colonies to beat up on when we get there. Also, I heard that one of the Kilrathi aces is flying around these parts. Go ask Paladin. I think he's tangled with them before. Take care of yourself, Blue. Well, now that. It is good to see you again. Have a seat and tilt a glass. I hear all shot glass rumbling on about one of the Kilrathi aces. Last I heard, laddie, the only ace around these parts was Baktosh Redclaw. Was back a few years when I had a tussle with him. He's one of their nobles, and it's said when most Kilrathi look at humans as animals, he thinks that we're not even that high or mighty. Anyhow, lad, I was serving on a cruiser when he led a Jalfi attack on our ship. He's easily the deadliest aim that Kilraz got to offer. He took out four Omi mates before we knew what hit us. Keep an eye out for him, lad. He's a tough warrior. So hopefully he's not in a Jalfi. Jalfi aces are definitely more dangerous than, you know, Salfi, Dralfi, Krantz. Um, Gratha aces would be pretty hard, too. Ah, Blue, join our party. We have done well to this point. I believe you have played a major part. However, should we falter now, I fear we will be pushed back to our colonies. But that is not likely. You, myself, all of us can affect that outcome. Think about that when next you fly. It will guide your actions. Use the force, Luke. Okay, let's get started. Mission briefing. Dakota system, some o'clock. No time to waste, people, so let's get to it. Zai Wing reports a Kilrathi supply convoy moving into our attack range. We can't pass up a target like this, so Epsilon Wing is going to take it out. We can't spare any backup, Blue. You think you can do this alone? Aw, oh, boss, I prefer to fly alone. No problem, sir. There is something you don't know, Blue. Our spotters have placed a Kilrathi ace, Maktosh Redclaw, with this convoy. He's a Kilrathi nobleman, and the deadliest shot in the entire Kilrathi navy. He hasn't met me yet. Here's the scenario. You'll first intercept a Dorkier class transport at jump point at Nav 1. Lower to bits, and proceed to Nav 2. At that point, you should sight at least one Kilrathi troop transport. Those transports are your main objective, and probably the best defended. You are to engage and destroy all Kilrathi transports. No survivors. You watch yourself with Red Claw, but concentrate on your fire on the sports. You launch in three minutes. Dismissed. Well, now we're getting to a serious strike mission here. At least two Dorkiers, very easy to kill, but lots of escorts. And probably an enemy ace even. So this mission, this is this is where the difficulty starts ramping up on the good path, the winning path. All right, good thing we've got Raptor. Knight probably wouldn't have helped us anyway, so it doesn't really matter whether or not he's here. Just waste my time trying to follow the comms with him. So I see, I think five bogies plus a dork here. <laughs> Let's uh, not waste any afterburner fuel here. So there shouldn't be any back toshes on this group. But, uh, there's gonna be a lot of missiles. That one's not actually flying directly. Well, there we go. A little bit out of range. Should have waited a little bit longer. It's because they were in range with their lasers. Throws me off with their long range weapons. Alright, see if I can sort of skim around the outside. Take a couple pot shots here and there. Let my shields recharge after that missile hit. Stay away from the dork here for now. Although to be fair, it probably wouldn't be too hard to um It probably wouldn't be too hard. I just don't want to get hit by that missile with low shields. It probably wouldn't be too hard to smoke the dork here and then uh, just run away. Like they go down pretty quick when you're in a raptor. Alright. 
We got through the missiles. Let's try this again. So far, our encounter hasn't been going that great. All right, this guy's the closest. All right, we got a couple hits on him there. Let's see if we can finish him off. Did that guy... I think that guy was trying to ram me, everybody. Maybe they knew I got closer to the dork here than they were. Ah! Okay, no missiles on me. Shield's recharging. Got a pretty good line on this guy. Another missile coming. Boy, taking hits, taking hits! Shields are holding though. We lost a little bit of frontal armor. The Krantz are spamming missiles like they're jelly beans. I don't know. I really don't want to get hit by two missiles at the same time. So I wanted to specifically burn some fuel there. All right, let's try this again. So three are heading back to the dork here. This guy is not. So this should be a nice easy one to pick off easily. And fire. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, two down. That makes the uh, overall matchup a lot more favorable. Plus, I'm sure they burned through most of their missiles. Okay, this guy's the one that's almost dead. And he's running away from us. Maybe I can just boost over. Pick him off before his friends notice. Well, not if I shoot like that. All right, good. Pick off the weak ones. Less fire while we're dealing with the rest. All right, let's get our shots lined up here. It's a pretty good shot there. That was pretty long range. All right, cool. All right, I think we got this now. That's the trouble with five, basically. They just they get so many missiles that you've you've really got to spend some time doing some dodging right off the bat. Unless you're like better than me and you can just joust right through the middle and kill half of them just with good targeting. But I mean, it's dangerous. It's very risky to play like that, just shooting at them while trying to dodge missiles and everything. Uh, I want to leave it back on javelins. I always use the uh, forget which which gun control I want. So anyway, dork ears. You know, we fought these before. They're not really that scary. I think they've got a gun on the front. Also, pit boxes, right? Am I right? I'm gonna save my missiles here. We shouldn't need them. They've got no guns on the rear, so. Okay. Nav 1 should be clear. Now, I did burn through a fair bit of fuel there, so let's not waste any afterburner here, because we've got another, at least one more group of, uh, Fighters and dork ears to deal with and we haven't seen an ace yet, so maybe I should have uh... It might be possible to lock on while we head towards him fire a couple IRs and cripple him like that But if the enemy ships are what I think they are that's not gonna be the best plan All right here we go So we got some ships down here and they're Jalthy one of them is Baktosh. All right, here we go. We got the missile to turn him around. That was a good hit. Ooh, that was a good volley. That's the wrong one. I want to focus on Baktosh. I took he took a lot of damage on that opening salvo there. I got greedy. Man, I, I should have been at like full armor and health there. One bad afterburn tried to pull up, but he pulled up into me basically. I don't know if it was, it probably wasn't intentional. Sometimes it feels like the, uh, the enemies do that though. They're like, oh, I see you're flying nearby. Let's fly right into you and then you'll be dead. But, well, let's try this again. Shucks. Spent so much time dogfighting with the Krantz to just immediately die to the friggin... Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, so... Uh, <laughs> oh, 
Uh, I don't really have any specific plan here. Be nice to take one of these out on the, uh, the, the flyby. Certainly did some damage. Well, I think we got this guy. He should be injured enough that he, he won't want to fight. Or is crippled. Alright, one down. That was a much better start. Okay, next. <laughs> if we could just do that five times, this would be easy. Sometimes they just don't fire very often. Make my life easy. You know, I'd love to just line it up and take those shots every time, but usually they're they're pretty aggressive with the missiles and uh, the missiles and the laser fires, right? All right, my uh, blasters are having a hard time charging up here. What do I want to focus on? That's the now, now they're using their missiles, right? Yeah. We gave them a chance to, to, to mess around here. She just stuck with the original plan of killing them all in one volley. The missile hit me, took all my shields out. At least we got a little bit of damage in there. Is that the best the ape can offer? Look, we've already killed two of your friends. Another missile coming. Destroyed half our shields, so that's not so bad. Alright. Almost got that one. Maybe one or two more shots. Alright. Down to two. No real damage. These last two are the real aggressive ones with all the fancy flying and missiles and stuff. I wonder if there's this... Like, I wonder if the game is designed enough that different ships are assigned different skill pilots. So, like, some are actually better than others. I feel like later on in the series that'll be the case. Look at that strafing, though. I feel like that's not something I can do, right? There's no way for me to do a like a power slide and keep my my nose facing the enemy. We are in space, you know. Shouldn't be any uh, what call it? Oh, we're we're in front of it. Get around behind. Yeah, in space, there should be no uh, atmosphere to slow you down or, or do any kind of tricky maneuvers. It's all just based on your thrusters. Alright. Goodbye, dorky. Okay, so, halfway through again. Let's try this again. <laughs> Interestingly enough, five dorkiers... Or five, not five Dirk years. Five Krantz, not too bad, solo. But now we've got to do, like, four Jalthy, which is... Including an ace, of course. Alright, back Tosh. I see you, man. Last time, I almost had you. Use some cheating... Ramming speed techniques. Not gonna joust if he's gonna start firing early. Terrible shot. I think I shot my missile again. Got missiles incoming, but my shields are full. We got Bactosh in our sights. We got him! Beautiful. What the heck hit me?! Sometimes hitbox detection, I don't understand. I'm sure I had room to, to not crash into that Dorker. I wasn't even using afterburns. But I lost all my left armor. Did I take a hit from one of these? Maybe I just didn't register that I was actually getting shot. 
I don't know. It, it felt like a crash, but... Now, I know there's some more... Another wave reinforcement here, but I'm gonna try to kill this guy quick. Hopefully one more pass will finish it off. Remember, the, the, the colonel said the most important part is killing the Dorkers. Don't worry about all the escorts. There we go. Alright, now what? We should have... Well, a little bit of damage inside. We've got at least one more Jalthy and one more Dorkier. Two Jalthy, looks like. Alright, one t turned off. Not sure what's going on. Don't crash your ship, Blue. Don't stand still while you get shot, though, either. Alright, that was... that was good. I mean, Jalthy are... Traditionally, the least agile of all Kilrathi ships. Not counting cats. The, 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 the least agile fighter. So... I should be able to help maneuver these puppies. Unless you're in a scimitar. And then... You're a mud pig. Centaurian mud pig. Yeah, you're having a bad day there, Mr. Jalthy. Alright. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Final attack runs. Honestly, that might kill him faster than just using the neutron guns. It's hard to say exactly. I know I know. I, I classically like to go in just neutrons for max damage, but full guns might still be the more efficient route. Anyway, that went pretty well. I think we had one potential crash, but otherwise didn't really take much damage. Seems like my only problem in the last few episodes has been crashing into things. Got a couple guard scimitars here by the Tiger's Claw. It's nice to see when they've got escort fighters actually guarding the claw. I know it's a drain on resources and slows things down and all that, but it actually makes it feel real. You know, a carrier that doesn't have great guns would actually almost always have a, a wing out defending it, I'm pretty sure. In enemy space, you know. Well, other than a little bit of crash, how do you think? Looks like you got a little hot out there, sir. Thanks, guys. Mission debriefing. Sometime. Good landing, Blue. <laughs> Thanks. How did it go out there? Well, the tanker's been nailed, sir. She went up in a flash. Good job. How about those troop carriers? We took out... I took out the first transport without too much problem. The second one was actually weaker, to be honest. But we got her too. I knew you could do it, Blue. That's damn good work. According to the log, you shot down Baktosh as well. My congratulations. According to your flight recorder, you've wasted 12 of the fuzzballs, Blue. Major, stop by my office after your shift. Dismissed. Colonel Halcyon's office, later in the evening. Ankylo, come in. I need to speak with you. Yes, sir. We'll be leaving Dakota soon, and I need to make some personnel changes. Effective immediately following the jump, you'll be reassigned. I want you one of the new Rapier-class mediums, Black Lion. Yes, sir. You won't be sorry. Good, I'm glad to hear it. That's all then, Major. Dismissed. So the game definitely plays as though... The Rapier is a better ship than the Raptor. It's meant to be like your fourth tier. I'm not sure I 100% agree with that, but it's still not bad, so I'm okay flying a Rapier. It's a lot of fun. Maybe not as useful as the Raptor, but it'll do. It'll do. Anyway, for meritorious conduct in confronting the Kilrath the enemy in the Dakota system, once again, the Terran Confederation is proud to present the Gold Star to Major Ankylo. You are getting all the awards. Congratulations, Ankylo. Have all the stars. Good job, Blue. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Filled with pride, you meet the applause of your fellows. And meanwhile, human colony on the water planet Hurricane Port Headland system. Hurricane's planetary defenses head off a last-ditch Kilrathi assault. And they win. We didn't really talk about it much. All right, well, with that... <laughs> We're still not in the lead, because Casey is killing it. But uh, with that, we have now traveled to Kurosawa. The furthest win left side winning system. On this one, if we win, we go straight to Venice, which is the final system. 
Unfortunately, winning the Kurosawa missions is not an easy task. This is probably... I think it's pretty safe to say that this system has the most difficult Wing Commander 1 mission in the series. And we'll talk about that when we get there, but... Uh, not in the series, but but in, in, in Wing Commander 1. The secret missions might be harder, but at least in the base game... Um, of any system in Wing Commander 1, Kurosawa, I believe, is the hardest to succeed on. At least in my experience. So, we'll deal with that next episode, or in a couple episodes, whenever it comes up. And, uh, wish me luck. Now we're in Kurosawa... Kura... Kurawa... Kurosawa... Where's, uh, Spirit? We need her to help spell some Japanese or something. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more Wing Commander. With rapiers this time.